Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very exciting chess game from the history of chess and today I would like to show you a masterpiece a masterpiece chess game of Gary Kasparov from the year 2000 an amazing attacking chess game so Kasparov had the white pieces and his opponent Luke Van Bailey was a Dutch chess grandmaster and politician so this is a must see this game was played in Z, Netherlands so Kasparov, who has the white pieces, starts the game with e4 and we have c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, d4, open Sicilian, knight to f6, knight to c3, a6, the knight of variation, bishop to e3, e6, f3, b5. So expanding from the queen side, h uh, g4, h6, not allowing g5, queen to d2, developing the knight and Kasparov castled. Black still haven't castled, developing the bishop, h4 and g5 is coming. So b4, after defending the knight, d5. But Kasparov played bishop to h3. So we have g5 fixing the g-pawn, so Kasparov still could play g5. So after g5, bishop to g2, and you can see that in this position, h takes on g5 is possible because this h-pawn is going to be pinned. So g takes on h4, rook takes on h4, after d takes on e4, it looks like Gary Kasparov sacrificed a pawn, but he played g5. So the pawn is pinned after defending the knight to rook takes on e4. The pawn is no longer pinned, so after h takes on g5, Kasparov played. Bishop takes on g5, the position is getting complicated. Queen to a5, attacking the knight, and maybe defending the knight comes to mind maybe b3, but Kasparov played an amazing move, he played f4, and this also liberates the bishop, pinning the bishop and not capturing the knight, in this position Kasparov is actually planning to attack the uncastled king with sacrificing his knight and sacrificing the knight on a4 as well, double knight sacrifice and attacking the king, so pinning the bishop, a rook to h2 and it is white to move. Kasparov attacks like a beast, knight takes on e4, f takes on e4, what else, rook takes on e4, king to f7, and then queen to d3 by Gary Kasparov. Look at this, two of the minor pieces of Kasparov plus the rook is under attack, all of them are hanging, three of the pieces of Kasparov is hanging, amazing stuff. We have bishop to g7. I mean, it is very simple actually. If capturing one of the minor pieces, the knight or the bishop, it doesn't matter. So let's say if rook takes on g2, then basically black is getting checkmated in one move. So the question is what happens if king takes rook? What happens if that move? Then can you see what happens? Bishop takes on d5. And if queen takes bishop, then queen to g6, and that is going to be a discovery attack to the queen. Also, the only defense is with the knight. So, if bishop takes on d5, checking the king, only defense, check, and after king to d7, can you see what happens? Consider this as a very basic, simple chess problem. What would you do if you had the white pieces? This is quite elementary level problem, by the way. Then rook takes on d5, after queen takes on d5, knight to b6, forking the king and the queen, and basically winning the queen by force. So queen to d3, amazing tactics by the beast from Baku. Three of the pieces of Kasparov is hanging. So it is getting very complicated. Bishop to g7 and checking the king, after king to g8, Kasparov played. Rook takes on d5, amazing stuff. And we have queen takes on a4. If bishop takes on d5, then queen takes on d5. And if queen takes queen, so you can see that in this position, uh, threatening discovery attacks to the king, double check, discover check. So if, uh, I mean, this is very difficult, also attacking the queen. So if queen takes on d5, bishop takes on d5, also attacking the rook. And if defending the rook, rook to h6, only defense and then rook takes on h2 and this rook is also going to fall. So after bishop takes on d5, let's play a silly random move just to point out uh, what is the threat of white. So discover check, double check, only move and 
Black is getting checkmated. So king to g8, Kasparov, rook takes on d5, he played rook takes on d5. Queen takes on a4, Kasparov played the move and Bamweli resigned. Rook to e7, how to defend? Queen to f7, queen to g7, checkmate. So there is no defense and if rook to f8, queen to g6 and you get the picture. So how to defend? A black has some checks, black can throw some checks. A queen takes on c2 is one of them, that's what the engine says. And black can't prevent the checkmate, this is just game over. What a game by the beast from Baku, by the greatest chess player of all times. And I hope to see you next time, stay safe, take care and bye bye.